this popular influencer has been allegedly charged with breaking the internet after recent eye-popping content that was released directly on their social media platforms. More on this later. Yo, 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 what's good, man? It's your boy Gio. Y'all already know. This right here, it's gonna be a little something different today for y'all, man. It's about your boy Woody. Hey, you know, of course he's going viral. He's, he's, he's all in everybody's feed. Um, but one thing I can say, he just need to zip it a little bit. He's giving out a little too much information on these interviews. He's talking about this new one with the No Jumper podcast he just did. He's talking about how the whole thing took place on the YSL Rico, the Rich Homie Quan thing, how Rich Homie passed. They saying Birdman was upset that Rich Homie Quan didn't sign to him because uh, one of the people on YSL didn't want him to sign. So he didn't, and his life was ultimately taken away, allegedly. That's what they're saying. And uh, Woody, you know, explaining a lot of the things that people want to hear. Um, you know, they they hear a little bits and pieces and see the core stuff that he got going on. But on this podcast he did with Adam22, he's breaking it down. And um, I got to give y'all this video, man. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think he's moving wrong? He took Adam22 to Atlanta. They was all out there hanging out, riding ATVs and stuff like that. He showed him the city. And uh, he's saying that nobody's going to touch him. Uh, he's he's the GOAT, basically. You know, um, and nobody's going to mess with him. They see him outside. He said he's outside. Nobody's touching him. Um, me, personally, I think anybody is touchable. I don't care how much money you got, what you're doing. If somebody want to get to you, to figure out a way. Everybody knows everybody. And it's a small world. And um, for him to have his life threatening issues, he needs to like back up a little bit, stay off the case a little bit with the interviews. They need to start asking him different questions besides that. You know, they're, they're essentially basically trying to set him up to say the wrong thing, which is setting up a failure, you know. And um, he got to be on his P's and Q's, man. This right here is going to shake. You know, your trial is going viral. On the trial, you said uh, you and Threat was sliding. Y'all shout out Rich Homie Kwan Barbershop. Yeah, like Rich Homie said, I was just lying. Yeah. So what? what's your thoughts on Rich Homie Kwan passing? Yeah. It's sad, man. It's sad. Rich Homie had a lot of potential. You feel me? Like, he just made the wrong choice in the past. That hurt his career. He didn't have to make that choice. But sometimes people got to learn how to stand up for themselves. Don't, don't be intimidated by no group of people. Cause them group of people, man, they ain't known that for real. All you had to do is stay by yourself, he would have been successful. Cause like from a fan perspective, it felt like he was one of the biggest rappers and then shit just all of a sudden just turned off. Yeah, because he seen he picked the wrong side. Mm -hmm. He ended his career when he chose to go against Thug. He started going to shows and started talking about Thug. See, Thug was always, you know, rich homie, my boy. And then he went to saying, told somebody, get away from me looking like a young thug. And He went on stage. Ah, oh, they did. Cracking jokes on him a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and one thing about it, anybody who know Thug, he got a great heart. The drama or whatever, I want you to just find out what made that man who he really is. Whew. Um, losing my mom. At what age? Huh? What age? I was 17. Okay. Yeah, when, when she died, she died unexpectedly, like... She, she just, just died. It was quick. So it was like, I felt like the hospital killed her. And then I had a vendetta against, you know, the hospital and anybody who pissed me off. So that would draw me down the path that I took because I didn't care. But I started to care once I had my little girl, which was in October, I mean, June 2014. Uh -huh. So I was already, like, I had did so much stuff that my country was at me. I was like, dang. I got beer for my child. So then my friend had just got killed. Shh, I ain't letting that go. So you feel like losing your mom made you lose some of your humanity and then having a child? Say you and uh, Lil Woody got a lot of similarities. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about Lil Woody in the YSL trial? I don't recall. 
on some real shit, though. Like, this ain't even me being funny, though, gang. I don't be interested in other life, gang. Like, especially that I know that I probably never run across. I ain't too big on what you got going on. And if I do run across you and you got some whole other shit going on, I know how to, f to separate myself. I was I, asking your thoughts on his situation because I know you've been in similar situations. His whole thing right now is he spent years finessing the police, telling them anything that they want to hear so that he don't go to jail. He recanted his statement. I could have to be mad. I mean, she he ain't telling me. He tell him mom, they got to do with me. It's from static with Woody or nothing like that. Everything don't concern me, gang, like that be. And that's how. You're in the high speed, it's all about just pure confidence and willingness to take extreme risks or what? Dude, no, it's just about. Police interrogation, bro. I, I got on high speed chase and when it, I pulled over to get a police time, get out of the car. It's just how you do it. You feel me? I pulled over, give him time, get out, he ain't get out. Instead of me taking off, I just bust you turn and go the other way. He got to do the same thing. By the time he turn around, I'll hit two, three streets, I'm out of there. It's just the strategy that you put in it. Don't try to take him on a long high speed because if I'm riding and he close behind me, I know he don't want to see me on feet, so I'm just going to get on the feet. You're going to get me out of the car. You ain't getting both of them. <laughs> Holy shit. You ever got caught on no high speeds, though? Never. Never? I got caught on one high speed chase yeah. my whole entire life. It because everybody followed me. But I got away. What? How you get caught then? Yeah, so yeah. And it was on my yeah. birthday. Damn, it was on oh. my birthday. What year was this? Oh, uh, 2009. Oh, birthday. Oh, yeah, right up, bro. Yeah. So what's, what's, uh, because what Man, started deep? Like the I hear you case. say that's like your crew you was running with? No, uh, that's my neighborhood. That's that's the name of the neighborhood? Yeah. And that's in Mechanicsville, right? For sure. And you was in Bone Home? Uh, I had a lot of respect for him. Uh, I just watched the interviews, you know, on YouTube and stuff, listen to the way he talked. But it seems now it's like, he doing these interviews and I don't like him. You feel me? Like he get on the internet, somebody I'm a killer, and all of this. Like they ain't, bro. Like me, you don't talk about none of this stuff. You going to do on these platforms? Oh. I, like my respect for you, I'm losing it because it's like, dang, I got real genuine love for you. I thought that you had the same thing for me, but you want to get on these platforms and say I'm a killer, and I walk around Atlanta like you trying to provoke it. Like even with the boosted, boosted don't respond back to it. Like I ain't trying to have problems. Why Boosie gonna say your name? Why you think he gonna say that? That hoe scared? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that whole scared. I ain't out here trying to mess with nobody. I ain't trying to have beef with nobody. I don't did that for like too many years of my life. You know what I mean? I'm trying to move forward with it. And I ain't trying to be dragged into nothing because I know how I can get. And you playing. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, and I, and like I said, I didn't expect you to, to be doing this. You feel me? Because the respect I had, I put you so high up in my, you feel what I'm saying? I don't respect people that much. So he, he kind of hurt my feeling with, with, with doing the interviews, speaking on my situation. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't proud of this stuff. I ain't proud of none of this stuff I went through. I don't, I, I don't see her on some shit like, if, even if she is a DA, she got a job. I don't see her on no just, I'm just out to get you. Want to see you go down. Want to see you in prison for the rest of your life type of vibe. I don't see how you saying that when you look at that young thug. How ironic, bro. How did she know about thug? I don't know. I don't know how the hell she, well, how this came about. I don't know if this was already on on the desk before she came to be a DA. And Did, this is something Hell she, nah, this is something know. she done. That's how this happens. It happened around here with a dude named Glenn Funk. He used to be the, he used to be a top lawyer around here. Then he became a DA and he indicted a lot of the that he really, to me, and I say this respectfully because I don't want no smoke with the police around here. Right. But it, it felt like, and rumor has it that he um, took some of the information that he gathered from representing these guys all of those years and not maybe direct, but indirect information and just intel. How do you, how, is that legal though? That's what I'm I saying. That's why she probably, you know, yes, yeah, I don't know if it's, yeah, it's legal if, if she has, if she kept herself away from Young Thug. See, because people, what, what happens is people like Fannie Willis will set a target well before they get close to it. You see what I'm saying? So she may have looked at all rappers in Atlanta and been like, well, I'm gonna get one of these to get to the next level. That's my, they gonna be my play. You know what I'm saying? And see, maybe she, I don't know what you, what you thinking? I, 
I I feel like bro is is bigger than just Miss Willis. I I'm, I really feel like it was already some we already know they was out. She was already, they was already getting investigated before Miss Willis even turned to be the DA. Yeah, but she came in and said if you rap and all this, she took a thing against rappers. Bro. Yeah, I don't know what that's. I, she this, came. This the honest to God truth, bro. Yeah. And it, it, this just how I feel though, my brother. And people can take it how they want to take it. This was my lawyer, my brother. So we have lawyer. You know, they, yeah. she, she, I was locked up. So you know, she comes to the jail. We sit down. We have a phone conversation. This is my lawyer. So I got to talk to her about certain. Shit. Bro, I never got no, uh, like a like no. Oh, I want to take motherfuckers. Down. Oh, I want to see yeah, motherfuckers go down. She the best at it. Yeah, I, I, Listen, I, I never she got already, that vibe from her. But see, you. But this is what I'm saying about high level game that's being ran in this shit, bro. This is a lawyer, my. Nigga. This is the highest level of manipulation. Yeah. Yeah. You dealing with a lawyer. Yeah. You supposed yeah. to yeah. feel yeah. like smooth that criminal. when you're around a lawyer. Yeah, yeah that's criminal, part yeah. of the shock. That's part yeah. of my game plan for you yeah. to feel like that. You, you ain't supposed to, boy, them is, these here smooth, like you say, they're yeah, they smooth, smooth criminal. criminal. They smooth criminal. So sure. that's the first thing you gather as a lawyer. Yeah. Pause. You know, especially running for DA after this, she's on a trail, my n****. It's clear she's on a path. She ain't just out here for nothing. Right. You see what I'm saying? If that's right. the case, I know real smart people that was lawyers for 30 years and just lawyers. Mm. She's on a, she's on fact, doing something. Fact, fact. You see what I'm saying? Now, fact. was it... On the menu, I think rappers as a whole in Atlanta was on the menu in Georgia for them to say like a lot of black got money. Yeah, yeah. A lot was, of street was, black. But you don't. But you think Fanny, you, because your relationship with her, you think she cooler than than it seemed. You think that's she, what I'm basically trying to say. My yeah. Brother. Like um, I don't, I I don't see her on some shit. like if even if she is a DA, she got a job. I don't see her on no just. I'm just out to get you. Want to see you go down. Want to see you in prison for the rest of your life, type of. Vibe. I don't see how you saying that when you look at that young thug. You looking at it? Yeah, but I, I well, I'm saying I understand. What she you're the saying, head but, DA. She the motherfucker pull the trigger. But, you, but guess what though? See, I always say this. Um, and, and I could be wrong, but I sometimes I just I I go to I I kind of think outside of the box too a lot. It feel like they're just like with the president, my brother. It's somebody who tell the president what to do. It's always somebody who's pulling. I feel like she's a puppet. I feel like, oh, you want to take Paul Howard's spot? She worked under Paul Howard. She the one put the dirt out on Paul Howard to get him removed. So I feel like they on some shit like, oh, okay, you want to? You feel like you can do this job, motherfucker? You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go do some big. Shit. You gotta be better than how Paul Howard was, and you gotta pull some big. Shit. So I kind of feel like she was almost on some. Or did I she put that on herself? Yeah. But she could have put that on herself. That may not yeah. came from. External, they can't. They could have came from internal of her saying, "I got big shoes to fill. I know shit shit about like these that. rap because I, I fuck with. did she with did she um represent more than you like other street dudes or be honest, was she known to like using her? No, nah, my brother, for this real, is, this on my kids, my brother, on everything I love. God, don't let me work up tomorrow. I'm lying, my brother. I never heard this lady before. Why is that, Woody? Uh, Lil Woody, um. How is the man? You know what I'm saying? Because people thought he's, uh, he's a he, he's a loving, caring, uh, loyal, uh, damn fool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he he see talking to him. Yeah, I walk all around Atlanta with that. Don't nobody say nothing to him. Ooh. Cause you gotta understand, Thug them wasn't doing the killing and shooting. He was. He called a Woody on him. He was doing, and didn't you hear him say on stand, when they called me, I don't ask no question. I just go. He just go. He told y'all that when he shot up Rich Homie Corn. He said, when they called, I don't ask no question. I just go. Who did what? And homie, uh, uh, don't y'all forget he a real killer. Sammy the Bull was a real killer, homie. He, he killed 30-some people in tow and didn't need no protection in prison. They know who to mess with. See, one thing you ain't never seen, my it's two vipers get in the pit. That's why the baddest boxers never really fight each other. By a cell being indicted, Quan's name was all throughout the paperwork. And it also hit the circus that rich homie Quan's name was all over some paperwork as it pertains to snitching on YSL. And allegedly, Quan was supposed to testify 
as it pertains to the RICO case against Young Thug. Now, just a few days back, Rich Homie Kwan's name came up in court and there was an awkward moment where YSL Woody asked Young Thug, did he have a problem with Rich Homie Kwan? And Young Thug shook his head no and laughed. And also Young Thug's lawyer, Brian Steele, also laughed at the question. I have an issue with Rich Homie Kwan bringing members of If Gang to his apartment. So did you have an issue so what, with Rich Homie? I'm asking you for what you told the police. So again, this was just a few days ago where Rich Homie Kwan's name was mentioned throughout the YSL trial. And so we can't forget also that YSL Woody admitted that him and an accomplice were responsible for spraying up Rich Homie Kwan's father's barbershop on Bankhead Highway. And as a result of that barbaric act, Rich Homie Kwan's father got hit up several times and it took him a while to recover. He almost lost his life. Now, I want you guys to check out Woody admitting to this heinous crime in court. And also, I'm going to follow that up with Kwan basically saying that Woody was stretching the truth. Young, you said nothing I say can be used against me. That's right. Me and Threat shot up Rich Homie Kwan dead at the barbershop on Bankhead. I don't know what happened with Threat and Rich Homie Kwan, but I'm going to ride with my brother. What do you feel about his statements being said about him basically shooting up your dad's barbershop? Uh, what is a liar? <laughs> the barbershop did get shot up, but it, it wasn't like, I don't want to talk much to it, but it wasn't like, he has over-exaggerated it because the same day the barbershop got shot up, it was, back, it was up and running. <laughs> so it couldn't have been like what he said it was, so. All right, so you guys just heard all of that. And so let me go deeper into further context. So basically they're saying that there was an issue between this guy named Threat and Rich Homie Kwan. Now Threat is a part of YSL, I guess. And so basically somebody went and sprayed up a game room where Threat was hanging out and chilling. And the fact that YSL Woody and his accomplice went to Rich Homie Kwan's father's barbershop and sprayed that up was a retaliation based off of the theory that Rich Homie Kwan and his people had something to do with the attack on threat. Now, as far as it pertains to Kwan snitching on YSL and that there's alleged paperwork, they're saying that Kwan basically snitched and said that YSL has something to do with the deletion of a guy that they were beefing with called Nut. Now, what I wanna do right here is play you guys a series of clips. I'm gonna start off with the audio from the 911 call that was made by Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend. A lot of people are giving her a lot of flack for not knowing certain things or whatever the case may be. you, I see you done became a real goofy. Like, so are you slaving for a white boy, man? No funny style shit. You might be getting fucked by the white boy the way you acting, bro. But besides all that, bro, they lame man niggas just say, bro, I'll give you a million dollars if you can recite any, any YSL Monday verse. Bro, you don't even have a million dollars. So you don't even have 5,000 to your name, broke ass nigga. You forgot you were just on the phone with me two weeks ago talking about how fucked up you was and what you was going through. Boy, you pathetic, boy. You pathetic, Brick, baby. I ain't gonna even count. You've you been hanging around Adam too much. And I ain't got no disrespect to Adam, but you done became too phony and like the internet shit. Cause, boy, you know if you was in my face, why you need to play with me? I just posted a DM when you just pleading the filth. You pleading the filth trying to explain to me who you went hanging around and what you were doing. But you go right back to LA and go making an interview talking goofy. Boy, big baby, sit your boogie wig ass down somewhere, broke ass nigga. You can't even show me 10000 boy, of your money. Goofy, you don't even have a million dollars. Boy, get your broke ass on, boy. You eat dick, faggot. Shamar might be in the land, like, I don't got nothing against Shamar, Shamar human. Y'all better leave Shamar alone, cause I got his back, she, her back, dead back, it back, whatever, whatever it wanna be. Y'all better leave Shamar alone, I know that. Cause I'ma turn my body this way, and we gonna be hanging out. Oh, let me stop playing, oh, snap, good morning everybody. The high stakes trial of rapper Young Thug has captivated not only Georgia, but the entire hip hop community. But amidst all the legal drama, one name keeps surfacing. Kenneth Copeland and better known as ISL Woody. Today, we're diving into why this unpredictable figure could be the key to the entire case. YSL Woody isn't just another name in the Young Thug trial. He's become the prosecution's star witness. But who is he really? Born Kenneth Copeland, Woody has a troubled past that includes multiple felonies, including a 2018 conviction for leaving an assault rifle in a public park. From playing basketball while the weapon sat on bleachers to getting caught with another firearm just a few years later, his history paints a picture of recklessness and unpredictability. In 2021, faced with a decade-long sentence, Woody took a different road. He became an informant, 
spilling secrets on multiple crimes, and even offering to secure a confession from Young Thug himself. But here's the twist. Woody now claims he made it all up. Woody's testimony has been nothing short of a spectacle. One moment he's cooperating, the next he's defiant, yawning, spinning in his chair, and even mocking the judge. He's also fired his own attorney mid-trial, adding more chaos to an already convoluted case. Despite securing immunity for his statements, Woody has hinted at invoking his Fifth Amendment right, which could throw the trial into further disarray. This behavior hasn't just frustrated the prosecution. It's led to tense exchanges with his legal team and even accusations of improper conduct between his attorney and the judge. And then, in a dramatic twist, Woody dropped a bombshell. He admitted that his accusations against Young Thug were fabrications. He confessed that under pressure from law enforcement, he pointed the finger at Thug, hoping to divert attention away from himself. This revelation throws a huge wrench into the prosecution's case, raising serious questions about the integrity of the evidence. Woody claims the police were fixated on Young Thug, so he told them what they wanted to hear, even if it wasn't true. And if that's not enough drama, Woody also alleges that the prosecution pressured him to testify in court, despite knowing his earlier statements were false. Now, as Young Thug and his co-defendants fight to clear their names, YSL Woody has found a different kind of spotlight. He's gone viral. From media interviews to even dropping a new track titled I Don't Recall, Woody seems to be capitalizing on his newfound fame. So what happens next? Will Woody's erratic behavior and shocking confessions derail the prosecution's case? One thing's for sure, this trial is far from over. Stay tuned. I've been in special aid. You've been in special ed. I could tell, yeah. my nigga. You, okay. You ain't never know? Nobody know now. There were four people in my classroom. Me, the teacher, and two people in wheelchair. Oh, okay. He dead ass. I'm being dead ass. Oh, you beautiful. Thank you. You, yeah, yeah, you beautiful. <laughs> Where you from? I'm from Alabama. Another Alabama? Mm -hmm. Come on, they man. came together, they came together. <clears throat> yeah, that's my roommate. Don't answer that fool <laughs> back there. He's a YouTuber. I'm talking to you. Exactly. So if you what want the, to take a bro, date. What the fuck? You feel me? We're gonna look good together. Let, leave that thing over there. Tell him to stay on YouTube. Stay on your side. Yeah, you did. What the <laughs> fuck? You like NBA young boy? Yeah. Love him. What about Sister Ray for president? Love Sister Ray. She should be president. How about, how about the Mikey yo? Ain't no him. Who? Ain't no him. What the fuck you mean? Who? As a matter of fact, turn it away because he trying to look at your butt. He a pervert. Bro, what the fuck? Why you, why you ragging? You can stay. The last shit you pulled last time, we ain't doing it no more. Like, you been paying me that money. That's the only reason I keep showing up. But you got smart coming out of here, bro. I'm telling you, I ain't doing it tonight, bro. I'm telling you now, bro. Man, you, you, was, real you, you was just in a club you turn up with a big my, is You in my city. I'm not doing it tonight. There you go. I don't want to do no same girls, no nothing. Walk out with your money, bro. Don't the baby. In today's video, bro, I know the last video with Shamal. I already apologized on the phone. Please don't beat me up. In this video, bro, I got girls that you gonna like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna surprise you with a girl. I ain't close. Yo, come slide, come slide, come slide. Friend. I'm bringing oh my man, God. Look, look, look. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Why you why you grab my hat, bro? bro. Why you grab my hat, bro? Why you grab my hat, bro? Don't put your hands on me again, bro. You broke my nails. I ain't got that many fingers. I'm not gonna keep playing with you about my boyfriend. I ain't your